Rutgers researchers have won federal support to sequence the genetic code of duckweed, a tiny plant they believe has big potential. Sequencing the duckweed genome could be a step toward enhancing traits that make the plant desirable for cleaning polluted water and producing biofuels. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports. Where water has high levels of nitrogen and phosphorus, typically anywhere runoff collects from farms, lawns, and golf courses, duckweed seems to find it. And plant biologists have found duckweed all over the world in around a thousand distinct varieties. The duckweed family belongs to a diverse group, including orchids and onions, as well as economically vital and intensively studied grasses, such as rice, wheat, corn, and sorghum. But this one's a bit more primitive, and so it'll give us a, a broader picture for what this vast group of plants uh, is made of. The duckweed genome is known to be on the small side, lacking much of the repetitive code found in the DNA of plants like corn. So when we sequence this genome, we'll be only looking at the genes or the parts of the genome, the parts of the code that actually make the proteins which make the organism. Besides contributing new basic knowledge to evolutionary biology, sequencing the duckweed genome is thought to have the potential to fuel innovations in biotechnology. The case these researchers made to the energy department stressed the potential of duckweeds on top of their ability to remove excess nutrients and even heavy metal pollution from water to provide feedstock for biofuels. They are the fastest growing flowering plants. They generate an enormous amount of biomass growing on something simple like water or even wastewater. The amount exceeds sort of the projection for some of the crops that are being currently developed to produce biomass by uh, several tens of times. Rapid sequencing by the Energy Department's Joint Genome Institute will enable more targeted studies at Rutgers University's Waxman Institute and partner laboratories to identify differences among related plants and home in on what regulates desired traits. We want to manipulate uh, the genome to um, uh, specialize in the accumulation of certain uh, products like uh, um, uh, for instance, lipids uh, would be good uh, for uh, producing biodiesel uh, or uh, sugars which could be fermented to produce ethanol. Patrick Regan, NJN News.